So I'm Zach, the artist at Saltwater Drain Time. I'm an indigenous man of Torres Strait Islander ancestry and born and raised here in Wollongong, which is Darawal country. I'm an artist and I paint for a living and I get to express my personal thoughts, my culture and my creativity in a visual way and connect with those around me. As I said, I paint for a living. I use acrylic paint and I paint on things like surfboards. As you can see behind me, I paint large scale murals and from time to time I get to team up with rad marines like Nobby and share my artwork with them. I became a professional artist, sort of by chance, sort of by luck, but a lot of hard work. So I'm a trained high school PE teacher and I had a full-time position and I decided I'm really passionate about being creative and painting and I wanted to do that for a living. So I thought I'd give myself one year and I could always go back to my teaching job and I started painting. The collaboration with Nobby, I decided to play on what was around us and something that is always there for me, which is water. And it's a place where I gather, I go down and surf, people go, have been gathering around the water for thousands of years, and for me it was just something that really resonates with me. So I took that inspiration of the water and threw that into our Nobby collaboration design. And so it's got lots of smooth circular shapes all interconnecting, showing everyone sort of gathering and connecting as one. And then through the colors, I used some blues which obviously reflect the water, but then it's got some nice soft purples and pinks as well. So, which also at times are uh, seen over the water at sunrise and sunset. And so they all sort of lend themselves nicely together, which are contrasting, but not too bold either. So to give people a little bit more depth to the artwork, I use two different size dots or two different size lines. And so the larger dot and the thicker line are for elders, so in our indigenous community, they're people that we look up to. And just in the wider community, anyone that's full of knowledge that we look up to and gain inspiration from. So they're the thicker dots and lines. And then the smaller ones are for the rest of us, the people that are still learning. And we're always learning from those around us and gaining inspiration. When I'm painting, I use a range of different tools for my smaller work, so canvases, surfboards, things like that. These seem to be my go-tos. I use the opposite end of a paintbrush, um, surprisingly. Sometimes I'll use the bristle end for my line work, and then for all my big dots, I use these little bits of timber, which are actually old drumsticks. So I'm a drummer, and whenever I snap a drumstick, that gives me a really nice size, and it's perfect just to dot them out. I really like to be able to connect with community, both the indigenous and non-indigenous community, because that's what reconciliation is all about through my artwork. So having art in galleries is amazing and it's nice and that's for people, but for me, having it in the public eye is really a way that I can connect to community. And so through my large scale murals on sides of buildings, taking art out of the galleries and making it accessible for all, not just a limited audience, I think is really important. And it also just dresses up the um, landscape around us. So we've got the natural landscape of all where I get my inspiration and then throwing my designs on um, buildings, man-made objects, I think is really nice. Within my work, there's lots of significance as well to the shape, but I have plays on numbers. So there's not numbers necessarily to look at at first take, but when you dive in a little bit deeper, you'll see that I often use either three, six, or nine circles within it, which is symbolic of my family. Um, the colors I'll play around with often threes, and then a pop of white on the black. And it's just a nice way to sort of tie it all back into my family and just have little hidden messages in there, which are significant to me. You know, that's what's so important for us to be able to finally do something like this as well. Like it's been something being wanted to do for, you know, for many years now, but just waiting for the right opportunity and the right time and the right the right artist like yeah, everything's all on. It's just all made sense. So yeah. It's, um, it's going to be so amazing. Being sustainable and environmentally friendly is obviously vital to me and hugely important. Being Indigenous men, um, looking after our natural surroundings is um, yeah, imperative. And so with my surfboards, I like to be as sustainable as possible. And I use a lot of the time recycled boards. So they'd be old boards that people may not use as much anymore. They might have compression dings in them, a few little nicks and scrapes, which I then fix up and I give them a second life. So I paint my artworks on them and then allow someone else to enjoy them for years to come. So like every day I sort of wake up and pinch myself and go, cool, this is my job. Some days it will take me to a big wall here, there or wherever. I've been able to travel the world. I've been lucky. I've painted in Morocco. I've painted in the snow in um, London. I've painted in the States. Um, so lots of different places and obviously getting to meet people, celebrities is really nice and painting for them and doing gifts. But at the end of the day, people are just people and we're all the same. And it's yeah, just nice and I get to pinch myself that this is my job. I get to be creative for a living.